What's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here. Who the man? You the man. Can you do it? Yes, you can. My name is Javaris and thank you for stopping by. As you can tell by the video, we are going to be doing a sneaker review of the Pine Green 2.0 for that Jordan 1, that colorway. So it's going to be this sneaker right here. So as you know, this shoe came out, I believe like February of 2020. So at this point, this this review or this shoe is pretty much almost two years old. So this review is, is very late, but I just copped them. So I was gonna still do the review. So let's just go ahead and hop straight into it. And I'm gonna still be talking about all things that I talk about. And the first thing is gonna be starting with pricing and where you can expect to buy it. So um, I got mines. Well, firstly, let's start retail. Retail, I mean, obviously this shoe is very old, so the likelihood of you finding it retail is slim to none. But, you know, sometimes they have random restocks. But I believe this shoe went for 170 retail, so of course you can, if you see them somewhere, you'll, you'll expect to pay about that much. But right now, resale is probably gonna be your best bet, really your only option at this point. So I got mine actually from like a local sneaker store, sneaker store in Atlanta. So it's um, Hype 24-7, that's the one that I got it for. But of course, some popular other places can be, you know, um, StockX, Go, Flight Club, all of those places. I originally was actually gonna get this sneaker from Flight Club because I think on there it was going for around like, you know, of course, depending on your size, it could be different. So I got mine in a 10 and a half, I think. But yeah, depending on your size, the one that I got was going for like maybe two, 85 ish but by the time i put it like the added taxes and shipping it was like three something and i was like i'm gonna hold off and i'm glad i did because i ended up finding it in the store that i went to but pretty much from what i've been seeing it you can expect to purchase it for like two i'd say 260 something to about three something and that's not including like the extra shipping if you're gonna buy it from like a website or something so that's what you can expect to purchase it for resale on various websites so i would recommend you know just checking out all the different websites that you want i caught them up here like i said from that store and it was like two six um yeah it was like 262 or something like that so that's not too too bad um but now that i got that out the way let's go ahead and talk about the actual details of the shoe so the first thing that I'm noticing is going to be this black and that nice tumble leather, but something that's different about it is it's like that matte black. So it doesn't kind of like shine the light like the green does, which I really like a lot actually. So the black around the side, like I said, it's in that matte finish, which you don't really see often, or at least I don't really see often in like the, you know, the Jordan ones much. So I think that was a nice touch to it. Um, moving along to the actual tongue, of course, you're going to have, well, the laces are going to be black. I think black is the best way to go. Apparently, well, not apparently, these did come with red laces. I, every time I see them, I see people with the black. I think I've seen a couple people put white in, but rarely have I seen people put the red laces in. Um, but the reason they did that, I'm guessing, is because of this, you know, the tongue where it says Nike Air. That is actually in red, so that's why they did it but i haven't really seen anybody rocking like the red laces personally um going on to the green i really like this green color what i like about this shoe and i'll get into that later is i think this green color kind of makes it where you can almost wear it with anything it can kind of be one of your everyday shoes so i really like that and of course on the side so definitely something that was heavily talked about with this shoe was the embroidery of the nike air or the air jordan i meant that Air Jordan is definitely, it's kind of like, it's almost like it's stitched on top as opposed to like being like embedded within the actual sneaker on the side, like how they most times are, which a lot of people had like contradicting opinions on that. I don't mind it. Like, I'm not going to say it's my favorite feature of the shoe, but it's not something that it doesn't really make or break the shoe for me at all. So I don't really have a problem with it. Like it's not necessarily helping it, but it's not hurting it in my opinion. Um, it has that white around like the midsole, which I like. I think it kind of gives the shoe a little vibrance and doesn't make it look so dark because of course with like this green and it's black, it, it kind of looks a little dark and it's definitely different than the other pine green. But I like that they added this white here because it definitely brings a little color to the shoe. And then lastly on the outer sole, of course, it's going to be that same pine green color and the standard design of any Air Jordan High. So. 
that's pretty much the basics of the shoe of course i didn't want to talk too much about it y'all know what the air jordan you know it's still a standard air jordan but i just want to talk about more so like the details and what makes this one unique so now i'm gonna actually move on to like you know reviewing it and giving my thoughts of the shoe so getting into my thoughts of the shoe the fact that i purchased this two years after the fact proves that i really wanted the shoe. well I, the reason i didn't get it when it first came out was because at the time i wasn't really into like jordan ones like that so but pretty much once i did start getting into them this was definitely a shoe that's been on my list for a minute so finally i went ahead and bit the bullet and copped it so i'm glad i did i definitely see this as i was kind of mentioning before being like you know everyday shoe uh, even though it's green i still feel like and because it, it has that darker kind of vibe to it i'm not worried too much about getting it dirty so i feel like this is a shoe that i can actually that can actually be worn you know if that makes sense a lot of times um shoes have so much white in them to where you don't want to wear them because you don't want to mess them up but these are like darker colors so i'm not too worried about messing these up <laughs> also even though it's green i still feel like you can almost kind of throw it on with anything um of course you know it'll look better with certain things than others but this is definitely an everyday shoe in my opinion which is something that i really am looking in when it comes to like buying sneakers in general but definitely those jordan ones some of them are a little too you only can wear it with certain things but i think this is one you can kind of get away with wearing it with multiple different colors multiple different vibes and styles so i like that a lot um again going to the laces i think black would just have looked the best honestly white would have probably been okay and i have seen it with white but i think the black just it makes it look best i don't know the white kind of made it look almost a little too look at me if that makes sense like the black just kind of blends better in my personal opinion green i haven't seen it with green but i think green would have been too much so black is the best so i'm glad black was a lace option that they did give us um you know how i feel about outer soles i'm glad that it's not white or any lighter color this green isn't too bad or you know it's not too light of a color so i like that a lot um, overall, I think this is a clean shoe. I definitely, like I said, like I keep saying, will definitely see me getting a lot of wear out of it. So overall, in my opinion, I really, really like this shoe. This is probably one of my favorite. I don't have a huge Air Jordan 1 collection, but I have to say, this is my favorite shoe at the moment right now in my collection. Maybe I'll do a video on that if y'all want to know what I have. But I've been wanting this for a while. I finally got it, so I'm happy about this shoe. I like this a lot. So that's my interpretation and opinion of the shoe. Getting into resale. So again, because this this um shoe is two years old, I don't really want to talk about like resale predictions too much because at this point, it's not a prediction. It actually already happened. But as you know, this shoe was definitely one that was popular when it came to like resale so you know if you are trying to like purchase it to resale i mean at this point like i said it's two years old so soon i would say maybe a year or two they may be coming out with another version of this so as of now if you're watching this video i wouldn't necessarily recommend buying this shoe in bulk to you know with intention of selling it because i feel like at this point everybody who wants it has probably already copped the shoe but i mean you never know some people might you know people are always trying to buy shoes like i bought it two years later so i'm sure there are people like me as well but in huge quantities maybe not maybe one or two or like you know three or four or so you may can get some sales but buying like 10 plus i don't know if it's going to be worth it because again this shoe is two years old but yeah that's pretty much all of the things that i want to discuss in the video as always i always give an outfit idea of how i would style this shoe i do one i do like one unique way of how i would style the shoe and I'm on feet so if that's something you want to see be sure to stay tuned for that and also let me know if you rock with the fit and give me your opinions of the sneaker but we'll go ahead and get into the fit all right so this is a fit that i would style with these shoes so pretty much it's just a plain green hoodie uh, I threw on this brown kind of like bubble vest and the brown hat just so I could throw a little bit more color in it just so it went like you know green and black only so this just kind of an extra pop of color um yeah but this is pretty simple and since it's cold now this is something I would actually wear out so I want to do like a, you know an actual season appropriate fit this time but yeah this is something I would definitely wear let me know how you style these shoes or if you rock with this fit and now we're gonna go ahead and get back to the outro 
And with that, guys, I thank you so much for watching. Again, be sure to let me know what you thought of the fit, how you think it matched well or didn't or not well. You know, I'm open to all opinions with the shoe. So also just give me your general opinions of the sneaker. Um, do you have a favorite Air Jordan? That's going to be today's question. I'm probably going to put it earlier in the video. But if you saw it, make sure you answer that question. What's your favorite Air Jordan colorway? We'll say colorway. But yeah, that's it for me, guys. Again, thank you for watching and until next time.